Okay, we got a really exciting part of the airplane build here. Legal Eagle XL nose rib joints and ply covering. Starting at the root end, working out. A sneak behind the covering, spar webs too. We got a front view here showing the first splice. We have a maximum width of 48 inches for the plywood and we know our rib spacing is not that far out so it works out to 45 and, and a bit extra. We make the first butt joint right here on the front 0.8 mil ply. The cut absolutely has to be square so that the next pieces fit in correctly. And then shown in the middle of the photo is the 0.125 ribs. And then of course we start out with a 0.25 rib at the root end. This is all according to your plans. Okay, we got the uh, front nose ply taken off for this viewing. Notice the first and fourth rib 250, second, third 125. Got this in color and a little bit striped just so you can see how 2 8 inch ribs can be doubled up. Recommended one solid quarter inch rib, but this is mostly for viewing purposes. Just to the right of that, you can see the jury strut holes. We'll kiss that in a little bit. There we got the jury strut hole block built into the main spar. This is with the spar web not shown, and again, the build up block at the splice joint in the purple. Rear view, the jury strut block in place with the metal piece. Just a good view as you can see through the hole. That's the same splice we've just been showing. Now we have the spar web splice which is approximately 96 inches out. Well I should say exactly there. But we got the web splice, the nose ply splice, and the strut fitting block, and the strut fitting itself, all in the next area. Very typical example for maximum strength, minimum weight, 0.125 thick plywood. 1 to 12 angle is what I did here. Pretty simple, straightforward on your plane. Here's the dimensions for 1 8 inch. So the scarf itself is 1.5. And 250 rib and splice rib. Your option. This is where your front ply will end up. Is approximately 18 to 19 inches out. Your math will show you exactly. So that's where the last butt joint on the 0.8 mil front covering ply will take place. That's to your right. The red lines that are showing possible braces, you can put in an eighth inch rib in the middle. Between the lightning holes, you can put it on the end where the other rib is, and you can do some braces. The reason for this, of course, is people tend to hit the end rib when they're walking around their wings during the build, and if you can brace this up, prior to plywood covering. It'll save you some grief down the road of broken ribs and having to replace that. Rear spar, the same process as the front, only a little bit less height. I don't have to read through all this, but absolutely we have to keep 90 degrees to the face for all holes. Top angles of the spar can be measured, fitted, and made when all parts are on hand for testing, not before. There is light at the end of the tunnel. We're getting close here, folks. You can Google the scarf joints. Excellent information on that. Pretty straightforward. Of course, you can always do the butt joint with the proper splice block behind your just an example of how I do the drawings. Complete drawings for cost and shipping with a dollar donation to the Clear Lake High School are always in effect. You can just see how detailed we make it here, but all these dimensions come directly off plans.
just whether or not you want a shortcut. These are 24 by 36 inch drawings and probably perhaps almost too much information but it really gives you a good guide. Here it is a little bit closer up. This is looking at the front spar from the rear. And here is the first diagonal showing that the metal connecting to diagonal through the wing strut plate in the lower left.